from Dent. Hey, it's been a while since we last spoke, and I was wondering if you're still accepting work because my friends and I have a serious problem on our hands. Now, normally, we would handle this type of thing on our own, but, well, my companions have our collective hands busy back east, so I need to ask for a favor. You see, a few weeks ago, Kaisar sent the entire 10th Legion into a ruined city in the middle of Texas. And this is where things get weird. Shortly thereafter, the Brotherhood of Steel launched a full-scale military assault on that same city. Ever since then, no one has heard anything from either the Brotherhood of Steel Paladins or the 10th Legion, who both went into the city and never returned. Something, something bad, is going down in that city. And, well, we want your help in figuring out what exactly it is. I've already arranged for some caravan transport and the necessary travel documents in order for you to pass through Legion territory. You can find the caravan parked at Camp McCarran. What can I say I bribed some people, so sue me. Oh, and if you're wondering how I got this note into your apartment, well, I know some ninjas. <laughs> no, for real. I know some ninjas. So the quest is to investigate the caravan that Dent hired and perhaps go do his stupid job. Glad we're on the same page here. Here we are, the McCarran Airfield, NCR's main headquarters around here. Hey, you my contact? I'll assume the answer is yes. Dent is paying me a lot of money to drive, not to talk. So no talkie, keep that in mind. Do not crap, piss, or otherwise leave love stains in my camper. That'll be easy. When we run into Legion patrols, play it cool. We're just traitors passing through, so don't cause trouble. No jazz music. I hate that stuff. I'm surprised you even know what jazz is, honestly. Oh, more notes from Dent. Right, so, um, details. Okay. The city you're about to visit is formerly known as Los, aka Dallas, Texas. And it's pretty far away. We got enough fuel? Well, this was before the Brotherhood of Steel blew the remains of the once glorious Dallas, Texas to hell and gone. I didn't realize Texas was gone. Beyond the fact that the city is a smoldering ruin filled with ghouls and mutant degenerates, we've got nothing. No recent intel. Ever since some vault nuke went off, turning half the commercial center into ashes. Given that the 10th Legion went in, we suspect that you won't find many ghoul survivors. Probably less when you consider that the Brotherhood of Steel rolled in and started shooting the place up as well. Cool! And away we drove! And here we are. Uh, in Texas? We've been dropped off in Texas. Hmm. It's a bit eerie. I hope I'm prepared for this mission. Didn't resupply on energy weapon ammo before I came here, but hopefully I have enough spears to get me through. Bunch of vehicles piled on top of this highway. Oh, this seems precarious. There are people living up here on this largely dilapidated highway. Oh! I sense you coming, son of the scorched earth. Come, let us become one. Become one. Join the new master. The new master, oh god. <laughs> I've heard about that master. Hopefully he stays dead. Uh, like these legionaries apparently are. That guy met a very violent and bloody death. Let's make sure that doesn't happen to us. Into this shack, maybe? It's well lit. Looking for threats, no threats. But a note. Codex Estartes supports. And a bed. Might need to use that. Ultra Smurf Omnibus. One and two. Hey, I did that Brotherhood initiate a solid for all that junkie scavenged and made him a swanky new Warhammer. For cheap laughs, I named it 40k. Ha <laughs> ha, people get that reference, right? Pretty sure he's not old enough to get it. Ah, such a sad thing, too, because that's pretty funny, considering his occupation. Sorry, I, uh, I don't get that reference either. And I don't know what these two Omnibi do, so I'll hold on to them. Okay, we'll continue to explore this town, if you can call it that. Repurposed Legion Barracks. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's not great. Blood, is that, 
Oh, God, I got blood on the ceiling, too. Ugh. A teddy bear called Rupert Gonzalez III. Gonzo 3, that's where you've been hiding. Not sure if that's important or not. God, there's just blood everywhere. What happened to you guys? And there's even more back here. And another n two notes. Day seven. Something is very wrong with this city. We don't know what exactly it is, but we're all starting to go insane. No, it's more than that. Some of us are changing. Glowing green eyes, larger muscles, and then the rambling. The new master. Oh, some of you must have become super mutants then. Orders have already been given to burn the bodies, but it's not enough. We're not even slowly down whatever foul curse plagues the 10th Legion. Maybe they were able to resolve the issue themselves. Day 12. We had no idea. We had no idea what was down there. And now we are all going to die for our ignorance. It all started slow. When soldiers drank from the river, one by one they all started to turn into those things. Monsters, speaking, ramblings about the new master. One by one, they all went crazy. One by one, we turned upon each other. And towards the end, when we were at our weakest, that was when the Brotherhood arrived. It must be a different group of Brotherhood. They, they seem to get everywhere, like cockroaches. But I don't see any Brotherhood remains. Just dead legionaries. Was there a was there a battle? Did they take each other out? Or was this a slaughter? Because they had superior technology. Left legs shack. Ooh, I wonder if the left legs are related to the white legs, Titus. Maybe your friends, eh? Better hope not, because I hear more blood dripping. Yeah, there's more dead legionaries here. Last words. Brothers. I just wanted to say. It has been an honor. Get down on the ground. Well, those were last words, apparently. Not the most dignified way to go out, in my opinion. How about this building marked as guns? If nothing else, we might be able to loot some firearms here. Mm, some pulse grenades. Uh, a grenade rifle. A lot, of, a lot of stuff here. A book on science. I'll read that. Sure, why not? A hidden Easter egg. Well done, you found a hidden Easter egg. Meow. Well, the armory has largely been picked clean. Not much left for us here. I wonder what the tactical value of this place was. Why were the 10th Legion sent here? What were they trying to procure? And another note. My plan went off without a hitch. That fool Kane stumbled right out of here with my package and hand-delivered it to my dim-witted brother, who's probably named Abel. I don't know. Like Take that, you bastard. You were always mother's favorite, but not anymore. Now I own all the trade in Los. Who named this town Los, anyway? It's just Spanish for the. The losses we've taken while excavating that damned vault are terrible, but on the bright side, we've increased rations due to the decrease in personnel. It's a silver lining, still terrible, but a silver lining nonetheless. I guess military rations split five ways better than ten. Still, at least we know why they were here. Something about a vault. I'm assuming one of those pre-war vault tech vaults. I hope whatever is in there is worth all these deaths. God, it's, it's so difficult to see around here. We really should have showed up during the day. Jim... Sterling's son was here. Oh, that's a reference. Ah, I get it. I get that one. More blood. Another message. Dead Centurion's note. And who was arming the Legion around here with gyro jets? Quintus Lucius. This place is a ghost town. Why, oh why, did Kaisar order the entire 10th Legion into this dismal hellhole? I know, I know, we're supposed to be excavating some sort of partially destroyed vault for some sort of super weapon, or so the interrogators reported from their questioning of that captured old hag, Mary, I think her name was. Still, this place feels wrong, and I can't help but sense that I'm always being watched. Furthermore, some of the men are starting to act strangely, talking to themselves, whispering of some sort of new master. I just hope we can succeed at the... The excavation site, and quickly! 
Ooh, okay, we're going to the excavation site, I think. Okay, uh, there's two paths down this highway. Police over here. Mm, yep, this is a dismal holding cell. Oh, and another note. Oh crap, so many dead bodies. Maybe you should investigate the city itself? That's what I'm doing! Suspect 1. Initiate Nadia was found outside the town, covered in blood at 0900 hours. Upon closer inspection to the surroundings, the corpse of one ghoul gun smuggler, Alex Quick, was found in a nearby trash can, mutilated, castrated, and decapitated, his cock shoved down his throat. When pressed for answers during interrogation, Nadia simply said that Mr. Quick fell down some stairs. Not sure this is related to the incident I'm investigating, but still, ew. Let's check out what you had on your terminal, officer. Arrest records for Pat Simmons, public intoxication, urination, public flashing. Okay, Jacob Franks, arm smuggling, dealing, drug dealing. Okay, uh, Nadia. Possession of illegal weaponry, unlawful discharge of weaponry, vigilantism, assault and battery. Wait, vigilantism only has a 70 cap fine? Even after your 20 second attempt? Wow, you guys, you guys are just asking for crime. And the list kept on going on and on, yeah. Okay, we'll just keep on going further down the highway. We need to go check out the other lane on that side next. Oh, I saw movement. Luckily, I picked up a sniper rifle, so we got... I have no idea what those things are. They are roaming in swarms, though. Oh, whatever those are, they're kind of cute. All things considered, it's very, very quiet out here. Given the level of devastation. Oh, boy. I was kind of hoping those mutants would be attacking each other. This legion fell oh, no. me. And I have made them from the husks of men. Into something more. They are one with the master now. They they are abominations. Maybe the flamer would work very well against them. Eh, to an extent, all right. Oh, oh, I, oh, I changed my mind. They're not cute. I agree, Gonzo. They're not cute at all. Don't worry, Titus. I'll rescue your body too. I'll bring your sever to your back as well. Okay, so they are not super weak to flamers, like I was hoping. It does kill them, but only eventually. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh no! Oh, looks like he got tricked. Tricked and outsmarted! You dumb creature. Hey! Hey, how's it going, Legionaries? Nah, come on, we're on the same team here, you and me. Nah, of course it's not working. Oh, I don't like how tanky you are. Considering the quantity of you folks, I was kind of hoping you'd die quicker. That does not bode well for me. This is gonna take a while. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. All the excitement of gnawing your way through a tree. You tanky, tanky sons of bitches. That's right, get out of here, you abominations. Scatter to the wind. I said scatter to the wind. Oh, you are tenacious. One more. I want less, actually. This is ridiculous. Lordy lordy. Yike a ruse. That was tedious. And I'm not sure what I am accomplishing exploring this area. We could probably head back and report what we found. The entire area is no longer habitable. I just got hit on the side of the head with a golf ball. And somewhere off in the far distance, I heard laughing, yet I don't see anyone. That was weird. That was weird. Oh, and that's even weirder because the ball is right there. Hello. For my mind cannot contain the bestial rage. To them, you are but a mere unenlightened human. But soon, soon, you will become something more. A poor yes. human. 
I'm, I'm going to shut that radio down once I get to you. But first I have to cleave my way through 50 more soldiers. And 80 more monsters. Such thick carapaces. For a moment I thought this was going to be scary. Perhaps even spooky. And uh, as it turns out, it's just tedious. Try killing me. I'm trying. Die. That's what I've been saying the last 20 minutes. Maybe I'll try and evade you instead. Yeah, we're just running. We're just running and sprinting. The soldiers of I am seek to contain me within this foul city, fearing the so-called ruin that I. Yeah. Enjoy talking while you can, buddy. I'll be ripping your vocal cords out soon enough. I am now in a brand new section of town. It's finally started to calm down. We got some tents here. Now this place is a mess and uh, difficult to navigate. Nice building right here. Not sure there's a way in. Maybe we go up this fall on a piece of highway. Yeah, this seems all right. Nope, nope. That, there's there's a thing there. All right, all you scatter. I gotta get through here. Hey, I've got a note out here. Elder Cyrus's orders. Everyone, stand still, please. I need to read this quickly. Mission orders from Elder Cyrus. Attention, men and women of Brotherhood of Steel. Many years ago, as an initiate, I and my companions traveled to this decrepit city in pursuit of a foul super mutant general named Attis, and. Following a brutal battle, I successfully trapped him and his corrupted body within a vault tech facility deep beneath the streets of this collapsing metropolis. Kaisar's Legion, in its vast stupidity, has started to excavate this same vault in hopes of obtaining some sort of super weapon to use against the NCR. But what they will find isn't some sort of traditional weapon, but rather the remains of a vast and terrible monster. We cannot allow them to unearth General Attis and release him upon the world. We will stop him, no matter the cost. Okay, I'm uh, getting closer and closer to the vault. We'll uh, check it out and see if the Legion were able to successfully find Jet the Addis person and uh, unearth him, and if maybe he was unleashed and killed a bunch of people. Titus, you can participate in the battle too, you know. You son of a bitch. It's nice to finally be away from those mutants. That was ridiculous. But we'll see if we find even worse threats down here. Oh, these uh, vertebrates. Oh, so this must, must be where the Brotherhood landed, maybe? Perhaps we can find some Brotherhood remains? Well, if they are, they're charred and unusable. Can't scavenge from that. Okay, I don't think I can find anything. Time to move on. Hmm. A lot of bodies. A lot of fire. The dead legionary. Oh, dead Brotherhood of Steel soldier. Mission Holotape. Summary. Paladin Matis and Lander, you are to survey the ruins at coordinates here, search for the components we need, and retrieve what you can. As a secondary objective, compile a list of additional items at site for future retrieval. McNamara. Why was Elder McNamara, who's in Nevada, giving orders to the Brotherhood in Texas? They're not part of the same branch, are they? Well, McNamara is a very old name. Maybe it's not the same person. Oh god, this guy. New master. We are one. We are legion. I'm gonna kill this person on the intercom, then I'm gonna kill the new master, then I'm gonna kill that general that shouldn't have been awakened, because he's probably been awoken. Yeah, so we've got a lot of people on the kill list today. This building right here? Former Church of Loss. Alright, here we go. Bugs. Titus, I think you should kill them. Loud and proud? We're supposed to be discreet, you know. Ah, oh, fine, I'll do it. Out. Now I'm poisoned, thanks to you. This is your fault. Are they poisonous? Venomous? I don't know. More bugs. Very unique looking bugs. And this place looks like a war zone. Now, this building is seen better days. as it is Possibly not structurally sound. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get down there and start killing these bugs and figuring out 
I don't know if we're gonna find any survivors, but that would be nice. Um, oh, a note. There we go. Ooh, it's so bright in here. Gaius Otho's last words. I am recording these few words because I can see the writing on the wall. This is the end. We've lost hundreds of men fighting monsters and undead into this damned city. And now, the Brotherhood of Steel has finally arrived to deliver the killing blow now that we are weakened. What's left of the Legion is bottled up, trapped inside this accursed building like cowering mice, and all the other defenses around the city have fallen, either to the monsters or Brotherhood paladins. It's only a matter of time now. I think... I think it's the vault we excavated. Now I understand why Ottavos blew these charges and collapsed the tunnels. He wanted to contain what was down there before it was let loose upon the wasteland. But it's far too late. Now we're spent, and the Brotherhood seems hell-bent on performing the exact same mistake as ourselves. Those idiots landed on the roof of the vault tech building in order to bypass its security lockdown, but they have no idea what's inside or what it can do to people. In a way, it's kind of ironic. We scavenged a key to the old sewer systems days ago, but now we are too few in number to attempt an assault. So this is the end, Kaisa, forgive me, for we have failed you because those idiots are going to let this damned monster out of its cage. Maybe I'm misinterpreting what I'm reading, but it sounds like both the Legion and Brotherhood believed the other faction to be stupid and trying to open the vault and they killed each other to prevent it, despite actually having the same common goal of preventing its release. If that is the case, that is deeply tragic. So many good lives wasted. And bad lives, probably, but also good lives. Back out into the city. This is not a happy-looking place. I know, Titus. I'm not happy about going into the sewers myself, but I believe we must. What fresh hell awaits us down here? That's pretty nice looking. Cool, lots of vegetation. Yeah, this is radioactive and we don't want to stay here for too long. Okay, let me just close that door because I don't think I need to be there for very long. Nope, okay, I think, I think this might be a little more difficult. Titus, I need your assistance here. Ouch, yep, that wasn't fun. I think this is too narrow for ya. Goodbye. Yikes. Right. Ja, jeez, man. Don't do that. I'm a little on edge because of the death claw. Tell us this fourth wall break. Just so you know, by picking up and reading this note, I've scripted four death claws to spawn around you, so good luck with that. Just kidding, or am I? Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, no, no, famous last words. Please don't let it get me, please don't let it get me. Roar, oh god, no, sounds of flesh being torn, something limp being thrown against a wall, footsteps screaming. Famous last words indeed. So many dead soldiers around here. So many dead good men. Stop being dead, you assholes. Come on, just going round and round. Dead brotherhood guy. I'm the last one, god help me. It's the plants. There's something else down here with us, eating people. They picked us off one by one, but they won't get me. Oh no, I'm leaving this world in style. And then he, uh, he blasted something, who knows what. Yeah, I know, this place sucks. This place is hell. I'm trying to get through it as fast as I can. Oh, we got a force field down here, do we? Can't get through that. Yeah, okay, how do I disable that forest field? Probably one of these buttons and switches, just start hitting things. Beep, beep, boop. The one cold haunting can awaits you in this building. Who designed this scaffolding? Soon. Yes, kill him. I will! None will be spared. I promise you. Oh boy. How do what I ski? We just had a laser trip in the lobby. Thanks, Gilbert. Go check it out. Apparently I have access to their intercom. <coughs> Ow. That wasn't just a sensory laser. Oh my 
God, the layout of this place is atrocious. Oh, whoa, hey! We got some Brotherhood soldiers alive down here! Hey, we could be friends! We, we could, but no, you guys are gonna be assholes about this, I can already tell. I think we have a common goal. We're trying to prevent the release of a monster. I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother talking to him. Yeah, that's one. And your friend over there. Oh, no, he's trying to run away. Come here. God, the scaffolding sucks. One dead brotherhood. Lowe's office's key card. And your friend right there. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that's not a good weapon for close range. But this isn't great for cutting through power armor, so that's a trade-off I gotta make. I'm not one to back down from a challenge. Putting my skills to the test, I can take on anything. Thanks, Gilbert. Hold on, I've got something on the cameras. Oh, and who do we have here? Well, if you're walking out the room, then I'm guessing my men are dead. Right, you bastard. Yeah. A lot of static on that radio. You might want to speak up. Can't really hear you. Your voice is kind of gravelly. Are you with the Brotherhood? Are you a ghoul? Are you a ghoul paladin? <laughs> so this might not be the best oh. tactic. Yeah, you guys are shrugging that off pretty easily. Come on. Holy shit. That one went through the stairs. So did that one. Okay. So the old adage is true. Beam your target with a grenade or it won't go off. I'm hit. Breaking a lot of conventional rules of warfare here, I see. Can I use this terminal? Oh, lobby security terminal. Let's see, lift lobby security lockdown, evacuation notice. We have confirmation from the West Coast that the Chinese offensive has started. Ah, oh, this is pre-war stuff. Uh, all personnel report to floor six for immediate processing through the facilities. Private lift toward the corporate vault down below the city. Oh, a corporate vault, I see. And tower information. Oh, and this is the uh, advertising, the, the sales pitch, eh? This building was home to a great many vault tech employees. Vaults one through five are dedicated towards finance and six is dedicated to security. Enjoy your stay. No, I don't believe I will. In fact, I aim to leave as soon as I can. Once I find my way to the sixth floor, this place isn't exactly simple to navigate. Dear vault Tech, who designed this building, and where can I find them so that I can publicly execute them? Because this is a crime against nature. No one should be forced to endure a building that is this unnavigable. Ooh, this door requires a key that I don't have. Guess I'll be back once I find the key. Oh, uh, of course, yep. Yeah, help the Brotherhood, huh? Yeah, I wanted to help them, but they decided they didn't want my help. That's right, distract him while I use this. I'll try my best not to hit you. He's, he's switched to a broadsword, that's weird. Oh, he tanky, all right. Tanky and obnoxious. He broke my armor. That son of a bitch. Now I'm naked. You like that. I feel silly. You like that? Oh, I knocked the weapon. Damn. Grab it. Grab it. Grab the weapon. Grab it. Grab it. Uh, oh. This is hopeless. Oh, no. He's defenseless. Get him. Murder him. Murder him better. I'd contribute, but again, limited ammo. Thank you. Is this where I'm going? Ooh, we're in Vault 24 now. We went up the sixth floor to go down. Cain lies dead. Yup. One less old enemy left to populate our broken world. You're welcome? As it should be. Okay, into Vault 24. Let's crack this sandwich open and metaphor is not even getting off on the right foot. Never mind. Let's crack this walnut open. That, that's better. Yeah, you crack walnuts, not sandwiches. Vault 24. Ow, can you stop with hey, that? Hey, you. Yes, you. Hello. The guy who just walked into the vault. Oh. You need to get out of here. This place isn't safe. Actually, come to think about it. How did you even open the door? Who are you? Because there are only two people with security keys. And one of them is fighting his way towards the geothermal plant as we speak. Geothermal plant? I could try to answer you, but I don't know if these intercoms are two-way. Ooh. Ooh. Weird beehive walls here. That's pretty cool looking. Okay, bit of a maze-like vault again. 
Yeah, gonna be navigating this one for a while. Oh, ouch. Okay, I'm going to venture a guess that Paladin Kane sent you down here to help deal with General Addis. Sure. If that's the case, then allow me to introduce myself. I'm Patty, the Corporate Vault's former Chief of Security. I say former because technically I'm dead. Eaten alive and absorbed by what I assume was some I'm sort of mutated dead. fungus. Yeah, it's a long story. Record scratch. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, it's a long story. But the important part you need to know is that this fungus merged with the vault's computer systems, so my mind is now floating around the numerous linked computer programs. I can help you get around the vault, but ultimately I'm a part of General Addis. So keep that in mind. General Addis. Ouch. So Patty is in the computer system, but also she was absorbed into the new master, it sounds like. This ought to be fun to deal with. Primary oh, hi, how's it going? <laughs> primary systems offline. That is, that is not a brotherhood. That is a robot. It's a pretty cool looking robot, though. Oh, looks like we're chewing through these guys now. You can handle them. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, whoa, 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 what's shooting at me? This guy probably. Surrounded on all sides by robots. Oh, jeez, another dead death claw there. <laughs> Me. Hmm. Okay. A bright follower here, of course. Of course, there's a bright follower. Entrance security key. What happened? Paladin Hughes and Fairbanks head to the communications array. And look for components. The mutants have been reasonable in the past and may prove helpful. But what happened to them? We thought we had this place cleared out, but God, we were so wrong. True, we took some losses dealing with the invisible death claws. <laughs> the invisible death claws? But that was only the tip of the iceberg. Everything went to shit after Elder Cyrus left. At first, it was a couple of mutants, and then came the drones. Twenty of them. They just marched right off the elevator and... Started clearing this entire floor. We hid. We sealed the door. Rattling. Oh no, the vents! Cover the two lanes! Blah, 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 blah. Mm, security system came online. Took him out. Apparently, it's deadlier than the Death Claws. Yeah? Place is kind of collapsing. And it looks like we're not going to the clinic anytime soon. Open through the blast doors. Welcome to Vault Tech Over Dallas Corporate Vault Installation Number 24. 24. This automated message is meant to comfort you in this time of loss for everyone you once knew is out there. The comforting but in voice. This vault you have been spared the horror of nuclear war. Yes, the horror of being burned alive. Your eyeballs exploding from your charred core. I'm a So welcome. Do not mind the extermination occurring up above, and make yourselves at home. Please ignore everyone you know being flayed alive. Come inside, have a drink on me. More death claws, more brotherhood, and another- They're invisible! Well, we already know that. Don't know how many more there are, but it looks like they got quite the kill count going. Execution. Paladin Cobb's thoughts. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, yeah. They were lined up and executed. This isn't the work of Death Claws. This was the Brotherhood. By order of Elder Cyrus of the Midwestern Brotherhood of Steel, we his charges find you, soldiers of the 10th Legion, in breach of facilities quarantine, and they were executed. We don't want to die! Someone is punched and thrown against the wall. Brief fighting. Elder Cyrus and the first few initiates to visit this place were lucky enough to leave with only minor mutations. We cannot, under any circumstances, allow any Legion soldiers to leave this vault, lest some lingering fragment of General Attis escape out into the wasteland. Therefore, I have given the order to have all remaining Legion survivors put up against the wall and shot. May God have mercy on their tainted souls. I think you mean talented souls, because they're Legionaries. Oh. Well, now I'm kind of glad the Brotherhood is dead. Alt Tech is proud to present this facility's new fully automated security AI. Model Delta Alpha Lambda Epsilon Kappa. Your safety is in good hands. Cool. This is the well. <sighs> Elevator door won't open. Oh. 
The elevator is functional. I don't know if we want to be riding this, but okay. I'm gonna go kill General Addis. We'll see what form he takes. Should be interesting, if nothing else, right? A little submachine gun. Very boxy. Very boxy. Oh! We're here. God, this thing is just uh, in my face. AP ammo. Yeah, getting ready with the AP ammo. Oh, I went all the way to the bottom, and now I'm going all the way back up to the top. This is... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken the elevator, because I am walking and walking and walking. And a one and a two... <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, lots of turrets here. Oh, it's, it's a cake, I see. <laughs> yes, I also enjoyed Portal and Portal 2. Good games. Who's just... having fun down here? No fun allowed. It's supposed to be spooky. Whew. Many, many stairs. Many, many stairs. Oh, wait. Not going down any further, it looks like. <laughs> well. Great, came all the way down here and it's a dead end. Marvelous. Shoot. This is kind of working. Uh, we're making it work. Kind of making it work. All right, we dropped down a floor. Okay, we can keep on going. What is, what is this? You're now standing in the corporate vault's main atrium, or more to the point, what's left of it. Yikes. Back in the day when we blew the reactor to try to kill whatever General Addis had become, a significant chunk of the vault's actual middle was totally destroyed. Um <laughs> uh, don't look down. Might get a vertigo. Yeah. Alright. I'm sure we can do what they failed to do. Yep, I I'm sure. Ouch. Right. So the backup geothermal plant where General Addis reformed his body and is linked to the computer system is on the bottom floor. In order to bypass the numerous automated security force fields around the vault, you're going to need to use the photonic resonance chambers to digitize your body and enter the computer system. Um, you, what? You ever see that old movie called Tron? I don't watch movies. Didn't think so. I see a death claw. I see an invisible death claw. <sighs> Gonna have to deal with that as well. One problem at a time, I suppose. First we kill the death claws, then we become computer. Oh, is that where I go? Guess we're going into the computer. Feels like I'm walking into a trap, but here we go. Oh. Not completely a trap. Hmm. Oh, you came with me. You're part computer now, too. Keep your consciousness separate from mine. Wouldn't want to get melded. Oof, yeah, things are looking a little glitchy, all right. Ouch. Welcome to cyberspace. You can use the PRCs to move back and forth as flesh and blood and binary data. The Protestant Reformed Church? physical and digital dimensions. Just be careful when in cyberspace. Vault Tech has numerous sentinel hey! programs. Oh, motherfucker! Security around the clock. I'm hit. Thanks for the heads up on that. Scared the piss out of me. If you're gonna be an asshole, at least have the common courtesy to stay visible, so I can kill ya. Just no more over here. No, okay. Well, it looks like this is the only exit we got. In the real world now. Okay. Looks like we're out of the computer. But I, I hear Deathclaw snarling. Good. You found an exit. Now I know what you're thinking. Do you? Why don't I just use a PRC to exit cyberspace and be rid of General Addis? Well, I can't. Thank you. A PRC converts your body and mind into trillions of lines of code, which is then stored for reconversion back in the physical world. However, only my mind is intact since my body was absorbed by Addis. I can't return back to the physical world using a PRC since the data needed to reconstruct my physical remains does not exist. Well, that's unfortunate. Thank you for taking care of that, Titus, while I was getting briefed. Oh, you haven't taken care of it yet? Need my assistance? There you go. He took all of your health, but you won that 1v1. Continuing on... Resident... Do I go in this one now, too? I guess we're going back into the computer, Titus. 
Welcome back to cyberspace. What's up, Patty? By now you've probably noticed that these sentinels bleed just like you do, despite being Over here. formed from raw data. While this area of digital space was modeled to contain ah. rules of physics modeled after our reality, Damn. this is why Damn. they bleed and have working guns. Just like you. You didn't have to provide an explanation for them. I just kind of assumed they were bleeding robot blood. Aha! I've got you now. You thought you were sneaky, but you were right in front of me. And through this door, then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're out of cyberspace again. In order to bypass the next security lock, you'll need to retrieve a key from the overseer's office. Overseer? Also, I have no control over the numerous vault tech drones patrolling the halls. I kind of figured. Ever since the reactor blew, these things have been running on their automated subroutines, which I have absolutely no power over. Would have been handy if you did. Intruder detected in the main atrium. Deploying constable box. Constable box? I'll take the key card. And, uh, okay, let's go kill constable box. Ooh, here we are, back out in the hall area. See any movement? I don't see nothing. Trying to intimidate me, but there's nothing out here. Okay. This area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. Please step oh, can... into the open and identify yourself. I fell. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. I fell, so I'm not gonna kill these robots. Is you, one of you, General Box or whatever? Oh, Constable, Constable Bot. Unable to continue. Constable Bots. I get it now. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Baka, you are annoying. Baka. Please. Just die so I can go back to playing solitaire like any normal security guard. <laughs> Baka. Good, we made it past the atrium. Okay, so here's the deal. Oh, shit. General Addis reformed his body and is using his uplink to the vault's computer system in order to manipulate, by extension, the numerous bits of technology in the city. He's drawing people in. People meant to help create another army. We, the Brotherhood, myself, and by extension you, need to stop him and sever the link with the corporate vault's computer system. I'll stop him, but I wouldn't call me Brotherhood. Do I even have to kill this thing? It's kind of cute. Nah, that's a friendly little parasite hunter. <laughs> uh, he's adorable. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Not quite adorable, but we're not gonna waste ammo killing them. Uh, we'll, we'll spend ammo killing you, though. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you say, buddy. Yep. Attention. The vault power plant is under maintenance program authority. You have no authority. I am the vault security AI. I have authority. This is cyber warfare. This is not cyber warfare. This is cyber bullying. It's cyber warfare. I have locked you out of our system. So much for your authority. Okay. The computers are fighting. Oh yeah, there it is. Luckily the parasite we can do Oh god! Back. Thanks for having my back. Oh god, there's more. There you are. Invisible little son of a gun. Creeping in. Oh god, gosh! I'm not easily startled, but you're getting me. You're getting me a few times. You will make an excellent herald to my coming storm. Release me from this foul place. If you stop calling me, maybe I'll get around to it. Gotta go to the computer again. Oh, is there a glitch in the system? When Addis reformed his body and moved his consciousness fully back into the physical realm, he opened up a crack in his defenses. If you kill his physical body right now, then this time he'll stay dead, since it would take far too long to process his mental data for re-upload back in the computing system. Remember, 
He's not just one person like you, so the transfer isn't instant. He's roughly 3,000 people rattling around inside his head, and that takes far longer for the system to process. So killing him now would kill him permanently. You should be close to... Oh no. Cyrus. Cyrus? Uh, I don't know who the significance of who Cyrus is. Yeah, we got three robots pick you off. Okay, you are not getting picked off as fast as I was hoping. Yikes, yikeroonies. Lure him out here. Let's keep on going, baby. Is that it? Is there, I thought there was one more. Did we get them all? Guess they all got got. Okay. Ooh, yep, more dead bodies. The man of iron who led these soldiers. I broke him like the little toy soldier he was. I broke him like he deserved. Mm-hmm. 50k. Oh, that's his elder Cyrus. Well, we found him. He's dead, all right. Cyrus's last words. We have failed. And I don't have much time left because of the blood loss. Whoever finds this note, be aware. It is nearby. If you are an innocent, then run. But if you are a warrior, then take my hammer and try to end this before it spreads into the wasteland. It's a hammer, all right. You want to take the master down with your hammer? Oof. Okay, I'll give it a go. I'll do my best. Oh, jeez. Welcome to my cathedral. <laughs> it is time. I will break you and escape this place. You will try. Glorious. <laughs> uh, for some reason, that makes me laugh. All right, robots, time to die. I got a hammer. Oh, didn't like that, did you? Oh, pretty useful hammer, all right. A lot of fun. Navigating around all this stuff. Deleted. Aw. You killed Patty. I mean, she was already technically dead, but you deleted her from the computer. Well, that's sad, I think. I don't really feel anything about it. Did you find something? Oh, there he is. It's the new master. <laughs> kind of tall, isn't he? Kind of tough to fight us in this enclosed space, eh? What are you cowering for? He can't even get to us. Well, he can if you do that. Yeah, you just, uh... He's got a pickaxe of some kind. Oh. And a minion there who doesn't feel like doing what... Jeez, oh, you see that? He took out his own minion. Yikes. Just, uh... God, oh, careful, buddy. Careful, careful, careful. Dude, Titus, you might want to hang back a little bit. I don't... I don't think you're cut out for this kind of fight. It requires a master strategy. I'm gonna whack him in the kneecaps. Until he's dead. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Found my new favorite weapon. So, pretty cool arena right here, though. Pretty cool place. A lot of really fun interiors around here, but I think we're done. Threat has been neutralized. Oh, okay, here we are. Corp Vault Geo Front. Okay. Ha! You killed the bastard. Yes, I knew all along. Would you expect any less from the great and powerful Agent Dent? Anyway, good job. And I see his death has forced the vault to reboot its core systems. Just let me... And perfect. We are in... Who's we? Uh, wave to the camera, you stupid meat stick. Oh, what? Yep. 
I see you in the auxiliary cargo shaft heading up from the geothermal plant. Well, I am. I can't stay in chat, but I've left orders with my friends to accommodate you. Your money is in the big chest, surrounded by lots of guards. Can't miss it. Oh, and I might have some more work for you in about another month. Could be lucrative, if you know what I mean. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, so many people are going to die. Are they people who deserve it this time? Can I leave now? I just... Oh, hello. That's a pretty cool looking security drone. Pretty cool looking. Oh, back to firearms. Keep going up. Oh, geez. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Woo, yeah. Oh, and your friend there. Yep, we'll just go down too. Yep, 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 yep. Up, up, up we go. How many floors? No one knows. I wasn't keeping count. Hey, I you sent by Dent? What do you need? Totally not a ninja. Uh, deployment orders from Dent. Take oh my, there's a lot of notes here to read. Hey, how's it going? What do you need? Totally not an enclave soldier. All right. Oh, hey, there's my money after all. I thought for a second Dent was gonna backstab me, but uh, yeah, I'll take all this stuff. And it sounds like Dent might want to contract me for a mission in the future. And I gotta say. I mean, that was, there was a lot in there, so maybe I'll take it. I'm paying you guys a ton of money to not stand around scratching your collective asses like a bunch of inbred tribal hillbillies from the new confederacy, and I expect to get my money's worth. Once General Addis is dead, the vault computer will reset, and then I'll open the doors to the escape monorail. You, my humbly yet highly motivated minions, will walk in and secure the site. The courier will be along to collect his gain. If you want my advice, don't harass that lunatic or you end up dead. The Syndicate back east has a murder boner to see the courier dead, like you would not believe. And all those stories are true, including the one about Shadow Company. Yup, the whole bunker, again, might be conflating me with somebody else. Oop. And the monorail has taken us to this location. Bored. Okay, Dingleberry's crossing the river right now. A lot of killing going on over there. Back to our game. Remember, gents, sevens and eights. Wow, place your bets. We have done. A, we have at least an hour until he's unclearing the vault. Jeez, you guys are just—they <laughs> were out here waiting for to do their jobs. Gah. While we wait for, oh, they're playing golf too. Great, cool coffee chat. These guys, these fucking guys, couldn't be bothered to help me, could they? I kind of knew that this would take a while, so I brought some stuff to play golf and baseball with. The courier can't see us from where they are fighting their way to the city, but we are totally having a party over here, XD. You know what one of the greatest perks to being an Enclave soldier happens to be? That's right, the brass springs for the good stuff. Premium coffee. Aw, yeah. Oh, yeah, the jukebox is great, too, until someone shoots it up. Oh, looks like we're not listening to music anymore. Let's get the hell out of here, Titus. We tried to rescue you, the 10th Legion, but as it turns out, none were left alive. And we have basically wasted our entire weekend. At least we got paid for doing so. Quickly, let's mess with the courier. Corporal, did you get the beer? Uh, he tells me to get the beer, I got the beer. He tells me to shine my shoes, I shine my shoes. He tells me to walk around, I walk around. He tells me to salute, I salute. <laughs> right, right, okay. Okay, I have the golf club. We'll each take a shot from here. Private Jacobs, you're first. Bloody hell. Now this is a challenge. A moving target gunning down some mutants. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! You were so close. Ah, I was slightly off. Okay, Corporal Jones, you're next. Got it. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, you suck. <laughs> you fucking suck. Man, you guys are all dicks to each other. I thought you were supposed to be friends. This is bullshit. Come on, Gonzo, let's get the fuck out of here. Sorry, sorry. Okay. You're up, ninja dude. Wetness is the essence of water. And water is the essence of wetness. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, you did it! I saw it bounce off the courier! Did you see that face? It was priceless! 